All right, this is a quick review of place value. So you see a number here. You should have your notes in front of you that show this number. And we're going to learn how to say that number. So we're going to start with the numbers in the red to the right. You have a 213 there. The 3 is in the 1's place. The 1 is in the 10's place. And the 2 is in the 100's place. Um, those are all considered units. 10's, 100's, 1's are considered units. Notice they're the same color. So let's move on. Um, the, th the next 3 is in the 1000's. And from here we're going to go 1000's, 10,000's, 100,000's. That should be familiar to you. And each group is going to now go that way. So we're going to name the group. So the green group is the millions. So we're going to say millions, 10 millions, 100 millions. Feel free to stop and pause so that you can catch up with the writing. The next group is the billions. So we're going to call the first one the billions place. And then the same thing, we're going to go 10 billions, 100 millions. Following that, we're going to go millions. Sorry. Already did millions. Following billions, we're going to go trillions, and you could keep going from there. You could say uh, 10 trillion, 100 trillions, and then go up to the next one, which would be quadrillion. You can keep doing that. Um, what I would like you to do is pause, and I want you to see if you can write the name of this number down underneath. So you're going to try to write the whole thing. So 1 trillion, and you figure out the rest. So we're going to try an example. This says 125,342. I would like you to pause and see if you can write down what the actual number is. Here is 125,342. Hopefully yours matches this up with mine. Let's try another one. 25 billion, 300 million, 132,023. That is a mouthful right there. So hit pause and see if you can write down what that actual number is, please. There is 25,000, sorry, 25 billion, 300 million, 132,023. Make sure you have this zero here with the 23. That throws kids off. And the last one, try this one. It says 4,260,054. Hit pause and try that. Okay, here's 4 trillion. Notice that there's no billions. No millions. There was nothing in the question saying that. 260,054. Fix those if you need to fix those. All right, those were whole number um, digits up to the trillions. Now we're going to do decimal places. So here's your next number. And we're going to name each value. So the first one is the tenths. After the tenths, we have the hundredths. After the hundredths, we have thousandths. And ten thousandths, those are the ones you need to know. The zero is in the ones place, by the way. Hopefully that's clear. Um, and then if you wanted to go farther than that, the five is actually the hundred thousandths. You don't need to know that, but kids seem to always ask that. So hundred thousandths is the next one. And you can pause and catch up if you need to. And let's try a couple. So if you had to write twenty-five hundredths, what would that look like? Hit pause and try it. There's 25 hundredths, looks like 25 cents, 25 hundred, 25 pennies out of 100 would be 25 cents. And we'll try another one, 6 and 32 thousandths, remember that the and tells you it's a decimal point, go ahead and try it. Here's the 6, the next place is tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so the 32 goes in the thousandths. Notice that we have an extra place value here, that's where that zero comes from. And the last one says 12 and 4 ten thousandths. 12 and 4 ten thousandths. Hit pause and try that. 12, the ant is the decimal. 4 ten thousandths. The floor is in the ten thousandths place. So these other places are left blank. We can't leave blanks in math. Zero represents nothing in those places. Homework are the two problems or the two pages that you have on the back, a total of 10.